Hey fellas, I bet you didn't know that eating two mushrooms a day reduces your risk of cancer by half. I know some of you hate mushrooms because they are pretty funky looking or because of their unique texture and taste, but come on, don't judge a fungus by its cover. These little guys are packed with all sorts of cancer-fighting goodness, so it's time to put your mushroom phobia aside and chow down. Here's how to eat mushrooms to prevent cancer. Mushrooms are classified as vegetables and folks have eaten them for centuries. There are over 10,000 types of mushrooms and a few of them are beneficial in preventing cancer. One cup of mushrooms provides 15 calories and 2.2 grams of protein, but that is not all. Mushrooms are a good source of antioxidants, fiber, vitamins, and minerals such as potassium. Mushrooms contain two of the most powerful antioxidants, ergothione and glutathione. Their high antioxidant content protects cells from damage and free radical injury, which could lead to cancer. Mushrooms are particularly rich in another antioxidant called selenium, and they remain one of the best sources for the mineral. Another important component of mushrooms is beta-glucan. Beta-glucan, which is the soluble fiber found in mushrooms, boosts the immune system by activating macrophages. Macrophages are one of the specialized cells in your immune system that trigger the release of various cytokines, which are chemicals that help to slow a tumor's growth. Beta-glucan has also been strongly linked to improving cholesterol, regulating blood sugar, and boosting heart health. This reduces your risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Mushrooms are also rich in the B vitamins, especially riboflavin, niacin, and pantothenic acid. B vitamins protect your heart health while contributing to a healthy skin and better digestive system. And then they are equally a great source of vitamin D. Mushrooms contain ergosterol. When ergosterol is exposed to UV light, it is converted into vitamin D2 and can be used by your body. Like we said earlier, there are thousands of mushroom species, but we've been able to identify the most beneficial ones, and here they are. Turkey tail. The mushroom activates your body's immune system to fight off stubborn cancer cells. Next on our list is lion's mane. This mushroom has neuroprotective properties. It also prevents angiogenesis, which is when cancer cells develop their own blood supply to support their growth. Studies have shown lion's mane to be effective against gastric, liver, lung, and colon cancer cells. Another beneficial one is maitake. This mushroom could act as a biologic response modifier, providing T-cell-dependent immune enhancement. It is often used to reduce the side effects of chemotherapy and is most effective against breast, prostate, and liver cancer just like this next mushroom, reishi. It contains polysaccharides that inhibit the cell cycle. As a result, reishi is excellent for use as an adjuvant therapy in treating cancer. And then we have shiitake, which is among the most popular edible mushrooms in the world. Along with oyster, it is believed to have the most effective beta-glucans. For portobello mushrooms, they remain extremely common and are high in calcium, beta-glucan, and fatty acid. Cordyceps and chagas are two other incredible immune-boosting mushrooms. But what is the best way to eat mushrooms to prevent cancer? Not everyone has a taste for mushrooms, and that is fine. But since we know now that they're good for us, we might as well just eat them in the right way. Frying your mushrooms leads to severe protein and antioxidant loss, but increased fat content. Boiling them equally decreased their nutritional value. However, when you grill or microwave your mushroom, you allow the fungi to keep most of its antioxidants. So there you go. Throw your mushrooms in the grill, add your favorite seasonings, and a little olive oil. At this point, you might be asking yourself why you even need to cook mushrooms since they are already delicious when sliced raw on a salad. The not-so-surprising truth is that mushrooms are more nutritious when cooked. Cooking them destroys any toxins and makes their nutrients more accessible. Still, you should not cook them for too long because it makes your mushrooms tough. Besides, raw mushrooms are difficult to digest because of their tough cell walls. 
This could eventually cause stomach irritation and allergic reactions. For several decades, these mushrooms have been approved as added options for the treatment of cancers in China, Japan, and a few other countries. Mushrooms could be used alone or in combination with other treatment options such as chemotherapy. Research on mushrooms is quite interesting. The body of evidence to support mushrooms' role in cancer prevention keeps growing, and that is a good reason to consider including more mushrooms in your diet. But while you are doing that, you should also be eating the superfoods in this next video to live longer.